live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering NetApp Insight 2018. Brought to you by NetApp. Welcome to theCUBE, we are live at NetApp Insight 2018. I'm Lisa Martin and I'm joined by Stu Miniman. Stu and I are going to be here all day. This is the third annual Insight with customers and partners and NetAppians and analysts and press. Stu, this is the second time theCUBE has been here. We just came from the keynote and the interesting thing that Stu, that you and I both noticed was at least the first 75 minutes of the keynote that we got to, to see today None of the product news was announced. It was really about strategy, hashtag data-driven, how NetApp wants to enable their customers from DreamWorks to oil and gas companies, healthcare, et cetera, to use data, develop a data strategy to move their businesses into the digital age. Yeah, Lisa, first of all, great to be working with you again. Always. And uh, I'm excited, it's uh, yeah, second year that we've been at this show, a third of the NetApp Insights that we've done, because we've done both the US and the European shows. Uh, my first time actually coming to a NetApp event. I remember, you know, gosh, I'm showing my age, you know, I remember when NetApp started, uh, you know, when, you know, Network storage was becoming a thing. Uh, you know, NetApp really rose its ascendancy uh, with, with file systems and NAS, and you know, FAS is the one operating system to rule them all. Um, you know, really grew into a very sizable business. Uh, company's about six billion dollars worth of revenue, and I think somewhere about to, you know ten thousand employees. So, uh, you know, today NetApp is really the largest independent storage company after Dell took EMC uh, off as an independent now. Uh, so it, it's interesting to watch, uh, George Kurian got on stage and talked about digital transformation. And the, one of the things I'm really interested in looking at is how is NetApp doing in that transformation? Because, you know, most people, you know, I, I was, when I was talking to some customers at, you know, some of the meals and walking the floor and things like that, it's, you know, NetApp is my, you know, filer company. I buy, you know, boxes, sometimes I'm buying some software and there's some things there, but, you know, I'm the guy that runs you know, NetApp gear, if you will, and that transformation, you know, what is the NetApp of 2019 and beyond? Are they a storage company? Are they, uh, a, a, you know, hybrid, multi-cloud, software-led, you know, something, something company in, in the future? Are they a services company? Um, there, there's a nice ecosystem here, so that's what I'm excited to dig into. And yeah, George Corian, uh, he, he in the keynote this morning laid out the, you know, four things that companies need to do uh, for digital transformation. That's something we'll, we'll dig into, but yeah, I had to go, I had to go search NetApp on the news release and be like, oh, Oh, the, you know, cloud insights and on tap in the cloud and right. HCI and partnership news and things like that. So there, there definitely is some news, they just didn't talk about it in the keynote. Yeah, it was an interesting keynote for me and, and as the Cube, we go to a lot of keynotes many times a year and this was an interesting start to it. Um, you know, it's, it's clear from the NetApp messaging on netapp.com, NetApp Insights, things that are pre being put out in media that they're really putting cloud at the heart of their strategy. The discussions in the keynote this morning included futurist Gerd Leonard, who's going to be on the program with us in just a few minutes. Interesting take on data, humanity. Um, the only thing that, that NetApp talked about was about 75 minutes into the keynote this morning was when um, Anthony Lai got on, he's going to be on the, on the show later today, talking about the data fabric. And I think some of the messages that NetApp is wanting to get out is that data fabric is transforming from a vision into an architecture, um, kind of foundationally to enable organizations to employ those four principles of digital transformation that George Kurian talked about. Um, digital transformation requires IT transformation, speed is the new scale, some interesting thoughts and concepts there, more conceptual, um, that I, I liked the DreamWorks customer, I think she's a great speaker. Kind of talked also about how DreamWorks, everybody knows DreamWorks, track, how to train your dragon, are becoming more, morphing from a customer to an engineering partner. Yep. So that was an interesting kind of, I wouldn't even say undertone, but part of the story yeah, today. Yeah, Lisa, a absolutely. When you look at traditionally, not only NetApp, but all the storage companies, where they sold to. It was, you know, the storage budget, and uh, you know, oh, how do I manage with the explosion of data, and that growth, and you know, what, what's the performance, the speeds and feeds, the price per terabyte, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I thought we could actually take George Kurian's, you know, four characteristics and say, how's NetApp doing? 
you know, first is digital transformation requires IT transformation. Right. Uh, I heard yesterday in some of the sessions they actually had some of NetApp's IT people talk about how they're leveraging and using, uh, you know, new technologies. Uh, uh, we talked about, you know, speed is the new scale. Well, how fast is NetApp? Uh, you know, we, we, we have a number of acquisitions. There was the big solid fire acquisition, which is now fully part of the portfolio. Uh, they had a, a Kubernetes company that they bought recently. They've had management companies uh, that they've bought. You know, how fast is NetApp you know, keeping up with the pace of what they're doing? Hybrid multi-cloud, I think you know, NetApp, first of all, was you know, really what you would call software defined before that was a thing. Right. And they were very early in jumping on this wave of we need to play in the cloud environment. Most of the storage companies really lined up and it was like, oh wait, you know, Amazon's the competition, you can't do that. Um, but NetApp was partnering with Amazon for many years. Now I'd like to see more proof points as to what customers are doing, how are they doing it differently. Um, but absolutely, we're going to have uh, uh, Microsoft Azure on the program with Anthony Lai uh, th this afternoon. Uh, I know we're going to be talking about Amazon, we're going to be talking about you know, Kubernetes and Istio, uh, uh, you know, where does NetApp fit into that environment. Uh, I've been going to the, the KubeCon shows for a couple of years and storage is actually lagging in that space. Uh, when you talk about having persistent data, uh, you know, that, that's not something we're there with. We spent more than a decade trying to fix storage and networking in the virtualized environments, and NetApp played a strong role in helping right. on, on, the, on the storage piece there. So it'd be great to see how they are going to play into the Kubernetes uh, and issue discussion. And the last piece is they said, moving from data center to data fabric, right. which is the closest tie to the products, as you yes, said. Yes, exactly. Uh, to what they're yeah. doing. Well, Stu, we have a jam-packed schedule today, all day. We're going to be able to unpack a lot of things from NetApp execs to their branding folks to customers. So, uh, Stu and I will be right back with our next guest. Again, theCUBE, live from NetApp Insight 2018. We'll be right back. <laughs>